Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to get the image that you want to show up on your Facebook wall or your Facebook page. So, just let me show you an example of what I mean. I'm going to take this URL right here. It's just a dummy post that I created on this training website. Let me show you how.us and I'll go to my Facebook page and then I'm going to post this link. And as you can see, it just pulls in the image that's on that page so it's going to grab the first image that it sees and that image is all the way down here which is my beautiful face right there however when you're posting your articles or whatever you may want a more relevant image according to the post that you're posting you know out to your audience so this right here wouldn't be relevant to this title right for instance so let's go ahead and delete this and we're not even going to do anything with that. So, how do we fix that problem? We fix that problem with a plugin called WordPress SEO. It's by Yoast. Okay, there's other methods that you can use to get your image there, but this is the way that is most common that a lot of people use, and it's very simple to use. So, what we're going to do is go to plugins. We're going to install it first. And let's see, do I already have it installed? No. So, let's go ahead and click add new, and then we're going to search for WordPress SEO by Yoast. There it is. And hit enter. Now we're not going to do any type of configurations to it because that's for another course later on down the line because there's a lot of levels to setting up the WordPress SEO plugin. But for this instance, I'm just going to show you how to get your image there the way you want it. So let's go ahead and activate the plugin. And we don't want the tour. Now let's just go back to our post. And see if we have the controls there for us. Let's see the top 10 best looks. Now, what's going to happen is once you install the plugin, it's going to add some new fields to your posts and pages. And here are those fields right here. And what we're going to be dealing with is this tab right here social. Okay, we're not worried about any of these other tabs because our sole purpose of this video is to get the image to show up how we want it to show up. And on that note, let's let me post that link one more time. Do I still have it? Let me make this only me. And then let's just post it. Oh, it's not coming up. So let's, let's go ahead and delete that and then refresh this page. Because there's something that I want to show you here. So let's refresh that. And then let's do that again. All right, let's post that link. So now, as you can see, what we can change with the WordPress SEO plugin by Yoast is we can change the title and we can also change all of this description. So let's just do a, a test run. So let's get rid of this because we're not going to post that. And then let's start setting it up. So basically, the Facebook title, I probably should have left that in so you could see. Ah, let's see if we can put that back in there. Ugh. Okay, here we go. That's okay, we'll get there. All right, because it's better if I just leave it there and then explain what you're looking at. All right, so back in our post that we want that specific image to show up, the Facebook title, that would be this title right here. So let's just keep it simple and let's say this is our custom title. Okay. And then for the description, I'm just going to copy all this because I can't think of anything to write right now. And then we'll just paste that in there. Okay, so now we have a Facebook title and then we have a Facebook description. Okay, now we need a Facebook image that's going to replace this image right here. So what we can do, let's go ahead and upload an image. Let's see what we have here. Oh, we have some nice little art. Let's see, let's use that image. Oh, that's a good size, 600 pixels wide. Okay, we'll use that one. And then we'll use that image. And now let's update this post. And then while that's updating, I'm going to get rid of all this. So as you can see, we change the title, right? We change the, we go to social tab right here. There's our custom title. And then there's the description. And then there's our image. So that all matches up to what you can see here, the title the description okay however let's go ahead and refresh this page and then we're going to post the same link I think I updated it but we'll update it again okay so now let's go view the post now nothing is going to show right now so let's copy this 
and then let's go through the pace motion again oh it showed up right away and that's great now sometimes after you have posted a link on Facebook it will actually still be pulling in the other image that you chose so let's see if we can duplicate that let's see if we can replicate that and when I say it'll keep the old image means that Facebook usually caches the image okay so whenever you set a new image it may not grab that image that you set with inside of the WordPress SEO plugin so let's go ahead and try that again let's go ahead and just delete all that and let's refresh this page and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go edit this post and then let's scroll down we're just gonna change that image out with something else and then we're gonna try to post that link again to see if we can duplicate it not pulling the actual image that we set right here so let's see is that a good size oh that's a good size right there ooh that's huge we don't want to use that it's gonna take a long time to load I guess we can choose any I'm looking for something like 600 pixels wide that's pretty large okay so I will go with that one no big deal okay and then use this image okay and then let's update this page and then let's go back to our Facebook page here and then let's see if we have a new image no boom there it is so there's the old image showing now to cure this problem what we need to do is we need to take the same URL for this page let me delete that I'll just cut all that out and then we need to go to the Facebook debugger and you can just type in debugger Facebook to find it okay because it's kinda hidden on Facebook it's so hard to find through all that stuff here so the easiest way is just Google it and there it is right there the first result debugger Facebook developers now what you want to do is you want to paste that URL in there bam and then click debug and then scroll down to see if our new image has showed up and no it has not so when that happens you want to fetch the new scrape information this button right here okay and so let's scroll down again let's see if it grabbed a new image and then there it is and then what I like to do is I like to show existing scrape image again I like to press that button to make sure that the same image is showing and I do new scrape information again Okay. That is just the way that I do it because I found out that this debugger is kind of iffy sometimes and this just ensures that I have all the new information that I just updated for my actual article or whatever page that I'm using to post on Facebook. Okay, So now let's go back to our page and then let's refresh this page. Now when we post this link we should see that new image because now it has run through the Facebook debugger and it has stripped all of the old information according to that same URL so bam there it is and that's how you do it so anytime you want to make an update to like your images or your title text in your description for the post that you're posting then you want to make sure that you always run it through the debugger especially if you have made an edit and this will ensure that you have the exact image that you want showing up on the page as you intended it to be and that's all there is to it. I'll see you guys later on in more videos.